Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and I am going to be showing you something a little bit different today. As you can see, I am posed in front of my uh, website here, my pointer I can gesture to the things that I've done since I started working uh, for Patreon and putting things out for free, starting with Console 4 uh, in 2016. Oh, by the way, I should say, I survived 2016! Yay! And I worked really hard in 2016 and put out all of these plugins as VSTs and audio units for free. But I've got something else going on. Introducing Crush All Boxes. Here's what this is about. This is my music, a lifetime of my music. It starts with this thing called Postcards from Tahig. Now you might notice that that is not quite um, a raging pop hit. You'll find that that is the case for a lot of the music that I've got. For instance, here's a snappy little number that the kids can all dance to. Not too much of that, you'll go blind. Here's the thing, I've always done odd sorts of music. There's lots of it in all kinds of different styles. Some of it is even, like, this is sort of techno or house music, but it was done before digital audio workstations off of an ADAT. As you can see, it's 2002. And very frequently, it makes choices, this music does, that are unorthodox. Or tones that are ortho unorthodox. Get a load of this guitar. Pretty harsh, huh? That's just how this works. I've always made unusual sorts of music, and this website contains all of it. This is. Close to two hours of continuous music. Kind of a Space Jam type stuff. Here's what this stuff is for. Don't mind me, I'm just getting caught up in showing you it. This is not only for listening to, because all of what you're hearing is 320k mp3s. It's right up there on the crushallboxes.com website. This is also royalty-free music, and I'm going to tell you what the terms are for using it. Because, I mean, the way this works is if it's up on the internet, somebody can have it, so people can download this. Oh, that one's not available for use. That is actually a mix session that Superman, I did. I suppose I could do an instrumental hey, of it. That one was a sort of little mix-it uh, contest that a producer friend of mine I'm not sure whether he'd prefer to be called an engineer, a friend of mine, um, gave some people. And the idea was you get just the vocals 
and the tempo and figure out what the music was supposed to have been. I'm going to have to pull it if he doesn't like it being there. But, um, you know, and, and here's another one. This is from uh, me and this friend of mine uh, recorded this music back in 2001. Um, he died during 2015. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, there's nothing left of him, and I don't think there's anything I could do with his music, so I can't let people use that, but... I like having it here because this is all I have to remember him by. The idea of this is um, putting this music up and letting people use it, and the terms by which you can use it are as follows. I'm going to put the high-resolution versions of all of this. Everything is at least 16-bit, 44.1K, if not 24-bit. And everything that is actually usable, because it's entirely mine, is, I think, going up on Bandcamp. I don't have it there yet, but um, I have all the high res. I just need to host it somewhere that is used to hosting gigabytes upon gigabytes upon gigabytes of masters. If you are an active contributor to my Patreon, you can use this stuff commercially. And when I say that, I will also point out that this is not just pop hits. This is not um, top 40 style stuff. There's a lot of ambient kind of things. Stuff that could be used for movies and such. And of course, you can grab bits of it and snip them out or whatever, because if you get to use it, you can use samples, you can be uh, constructing things around them. Any sort of thing that you might do with this type of thing. I'm going to poke around and see what sorts of things we have. Some of this I might need to edit a little bit, because we've got... Um, during this year, I was doing fan fiction style music and tracks like this track. It's a song by somebody else in the tandem. On the other hand, something like this, original. So with the ones that I have labeled as entirely original, you can use them for whatever you like. And some, obviously, some years are a little more, much more interesting than others. Um, that's definitely samples. Um, on the other hand, this one's entirely original. Again, you can use this music commercially if you are a member of my Patreon at any level. And I'm going to say for each person in your team, because I'm, I can't help but be reminded that uh, Indie King the movie was essentially two people building all of that for the duration of while well, you were selling your derivative thing. That works out to uh, $12 a year which is pretty lenient. And we'll just see where it goes. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a great deal of different kinds of music. And the important thing is you have access to literally everything for that $12 a year. Also, if I have the um, band camp full of all of the high-resolution masters, you have 24-bit everything for $12 a year. 
but I'm going to have it set up so that it's $1 per download for that so that Bandcamp can get paid for hosting everything for me. At least that's the idea. And as we can see, I'm not stopping here. My hope is that in 2017, I'm going to continue to do more music and perhaps start live streaming it and come up with additional things to do so that I can just continue this kind of creativity. I've always done it. And ideally, I can do it with a, a sound quality. It might not be pop hit stuff, but I can do it with professional studio recording quality when I work at it. And I can also do really unusual tracks that could be used for many purposes. Like that's a progressive rocky kind of thing. With a little uh, funk guitar going on in there. But then if I dial back to here, you can have stuff like this. Scary music, spooky kinds of stuff. This would be good Halloween theme music. It's very disconcerting. Or we can go back to, say, 97. Early experiments with um, tracker programs. Or more current experiments with tracker programs. This is done with Renoise. I'm looking forward to making some videos perhaps about showing people how to use Renoise. All of that can be yours to use commercially for $12 a year as long as you are selling the uh, thing that you're making out of it. I think that's pretty reasonable. You know, a buck a month, as far as licensing is concerned, isn't that wild and crazy and stuff. And it is during the time that you're selling whatever it is that you're making. And... Well, there's a lot here. I keep poking around finding new things. Like all of these are, like here's a good one. It's, there's a lot here. This is a lifetime of sort of peculiar arbitrary music creation. Here's another one. It's 2013 for this one. This one goes to a kind of dubstepy place. Here, I'll show you. stuff like this. Or here. Again, all of this $12 a year for commercial use. $12 from each person on your team. That's basically in case Pepsi wants to license something. I'll be like, okay. I'm kind of gearing this to other people who are just doing stuff all on their own. I want to make it easy for them, and I'm not really super worried about making it easy for like Disney to license something for $12 a year and then be able to use it in their stuff, because otherwise it's open season.
www.crushallboxes.com. I hope you have fun exploring this. I've been doing uh, my bizarre little music for a long time. I use it to demonstrate uh, plugins fairly often. And sometimes people go, that's the worst thing ever. And sometimes people go, I kind of liked it. So hopefully you can have some fun. Uh, hang on, that was just getting to be a little bit too enthusiastic. So let's go over to something a lot more chill. $12 a year for commercial use of this music library per person on the immediate team that's doing the creation involved. I hope you have a lot of fun poking around and discovering what's here. It is essentially everything I've ever done in my entire life. Talk to you later.